were nausea, spasms, fever, and you got this bump under your arm or on your neck. And on the fifth day, it would explode black poisonous liquid. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. There were a few medieval cures. We're not saying there work, so if you happen to have the Black Death Plague for some weird mm -hmm. reason, then don't use these. Yeah. Um, cut open. They used to cut up open your veins that lead to your heart or explode frogs on your sores. Or they'd make you sit in a sewer for a day and then like they think the bad aroma in the sewer would bite away the bad aura in the plate. Well, um, thanks for learning about the black plate. Wait, 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 no! Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back! <laughs> Also, uh, one more word of a suggestion. Never go down a slide very fast, okay? It's not fun. You bump your knee and stuff, and you really, really, Bye. really hurt. Hey, guys. I know you've seen the first part of the video on Black Death. But right now, we're going to tell you about the leprosy, also known as Hansen disease. Well, right now, I'm going to hand it over to Jessica. It is caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium leprae. One of the cures for leprosy in the Middle Ages was injecting Camugra oil into your skin. The symptoms include becoming weak, sore, and getting nerve damage. Thanks for watching. Bye.